Take her away, Ern. Yeah, take it away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Who, me? All right, so we're going to be talking about the night bus today. If you don't know what the night bus is, it is one of the most wild rides you'll ever experience. It helps stranded witches and wizards get to where they need to be in the magical world. And in this case, it is going to be taking us to wizarding fortresses and wizarding challenges at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, which is really exciting. Um, there's a really cool new feature out inside of Wizards Unite, uh, and we're going to dive real deep into that, including how you can play with your friends um, it is a little bit challenging um, to get into the same uh, lobby as your friends. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that today. And it's really exciting. I'm excited to tell you guys all about the night bus and the new feature inside of Wizards Unite. So let's jump right in. All right, so the basics of this is the problem um, with everyone being at home is that you cannot do any wizarding challenges, which is such a big bummer. Everyone loves that. Uh, and that's definitely a big part of the game that I enjoy doing with my friends and family. Uh, so it's great that Niantic put out a feature like this. I'm really stoked about it. They also released something very similar into Pokemon Go, so any Pokemon Go fans out there, there's also a system that's being released inside of Pokemon Go if it hasn't already. Um, but I've been mostly focused on Wizards Unite, obviously, so um, it's a really cool feature where you can play from anywhere and get to a wizarding fortress. So basically, there is an icon on the map that looks like the night bus. If you press that button, it will take you um, to Hogwarts School of um, Witchcraft and Wizardry, and you will be able to select any fortress you want, all of them, all the way from um, the darks, all the way to the basic rune chambers. Uh, so you can basically do any fortress you want as long as you've progressed up to that level. And you basically can go into a lobby with a lot of other people. Um, it's fairly random, um, but as people join that lobby, you can see, just like if you were to go anywhere else and play a fortress, there may be other people there and you can actually play it. The cool thing about this is that you can actually play with a lot of people that you don't normally play with, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. We'll weigh some of the pros and cons, but overall it's a really great feature for you to be able to play wizarding challenges with other people, um, by the way. So you can actually, if, if you get into a decent group, you can actually do higher level uh, wizarding challenges than you might have previously because you actually have a group around you that you're able to play with. This is really great for rule players, particularly who don't get to play with uh, other people very often, as well as um, ultimately just people who like to do wizarding challenges who don't have a group that they play with often. Maybe maybe you just haven't found a group in your area yet or whatever that is, but this is a great opportunity to experience the fun of wizarding challenges with other people, which in my opinion is actually one of the best parts of the game. Wizarding challenges as a group, it has been one of the best experiences that I have had playing the game, playing with friends, at uh, you know playing with some of the other YouTubers, and all of that is just really some of the best memories I have in the game. So I'm really excited that they have brought this in a way that actually um, makes that aspect of the game more enjoyable and actually other people can see the enjoyment of the game if you haven't been able to be part of a group um, that you might not otherwise have been able to get so i think ultimately it's a really cool feature uh, and i think it should be here to stay we're going to talk about some of the um talk about that later but right now i want to talk to you about how to get into a lobby with your friends uh, so let's jump into that right now so if you already have a group of people that you play with regularly inside of Wizard Challenge, you may have struggled with the fact that you've tried to join an, uh, a lobby where your friends aren't. You may have gone to the Dark Chamber 5 and then gotten there and realized that your friends aren't there, which is a total bummer because you, you guys all got together um, separately in your own homes and then you guys couldn't play with each other, which is a big bummer. So there's actually a way to fix that. One of my Patreon supporters, Robert, he sent me an article to Reddit uh, that has, is a really awesome article. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the link to this video because everyone should go read it especially if you're having trouble with uh, with any of these instructions definitely give that article a read but I'm gonna give you give you basically the summary of it here so you guys can do it and also a little bit of example um, of me doing it as well so basically uh, the article is from Pokiar and he basically explains that uh, the way that they have this set up is there's a lot of different wizarding um, fortresses even though you go to the, it's the same name it's all Hogwarts there's a bunch of different ones right because if they ha just had one they'd have millions of people or, or thousands of people trying to go to one wizarding location um, and that would be kind of messy and very difficult to every lobby would be full constantly and you would have a really hard time actually getting into them so they'd be full very often so uh, basically to 
minimize that, they broke it up into a lot of different wizarding challenges, uh, even though it's it says it's the same location, but it's just the way that they set it up um, in the computer, right? So uh, to get into the same lobby, one friend needs to jump in to um, a, cha a wizarding challenge. One of the room, uh, one of the either rooms um, two to four is what I suggest, or two to five uh, is what I suggest, not one, because um, the two to five, you'll have a two minute timer before it starts. And that basically gives other players, so uh, let's say I had a friend who jumped in uh, to that, to runes, uh, to runes chamber two, then I would basically, you have to be friends with them, right? And then you basically log in, you basically go to, you basically ride the night bus over and over and over again until you find the person. And it will show because you're friends with them, when you enter a chamber with your friends next to the, the rune, um, like count of how many people are in that chamber or in that uh, in the runes chamber, you'll be able to see a friend icon. It's a yellow friend icon. And that is when you actually know that you're in the same wizarding challenge as your friend. So you basically both want to get in there. And if you're playing with multiple people, basically one person gets in there. And then as you guys go, you guys can all get into the same uh, runes or runes chamber uh, so that you guys can all play together. Once you guys are in the runes chamber, you want to back out and then you can pick any of the, don't leave um, the, the wizarding challenge, but you can then go back to the list of all the different wizarding challenges that you can pick from. And you can go to a dark chamber five, for instance, or whatever agreed upon um, fortress you guys want to do, and then battle that one. And you guys all get into that lobby. So it did take me about 45 seconds. I did it a few handful of different times. It took me about 45 seconds of going in and out, in and out in order to find my group of friends that I was playing with. Uh, so uh, understand that it may take a handful of tries, but don't give up. You'll eventually find your friends inside of the wizarding challenge. Uh, so it's super cool. One caveat to that is if you guys do, the person who's waiting in a rune chamber, there are actual other people who may want to be playing that. So if you, are the person waiting in the chamber for your friends um, and you see four people who have already joined um, to do that fortress and you're the only one holding them up you may want to back out of that that way you don't uh, lessen their gaming experience because otherwise they're gonna have to wait two minutes for to play when you aren't even gonna play with them so just back out go into a chamber that doesn't have any people in it uh, and then just wait for your friends in that one. Uh, so normally that doesn't happen too often, but it does sometimes happen. And just make sure you're being respectful of other people's gameplay while you're waiting for your friends. Um, but otherwise, it's a really good solution to make sure that you're able to play with the people that you normally play with in your community or maybe some friends that you don't normally get to play with. Uh, so definitely coordinate that on Discord or just texting or however you guys um, communicate with your um, wizarding challenging groups and definitely get out there and play. It's a really great way to do this uh, and a, a great feature. Uh, if you have any questions about the friends feature and how to get into the lobby together, definitely leave a comment and check out that Reddit uh, article. It is super helpful. Uh, so if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And let's jump into now what they should do with this after COVID stops and you know life goes on and you can go outside and do wizarding challenges. That's a really important topic, so let's start talking about that. All right, so should the night bus stay for the long term? I believe it should. This is a really awesome way for people to experience wizarding challenges without um, the need for a, a group that they know of. Where the whole point of the game is to be social and go outside. There are just some people who have a really hard time finding other people to play with. And for that reason, I think the night bus should stay long term. It's a great feature that they've added. It's obviously been super successful uh, and it's something that sh in my opinion should stay. Now there should be a couple changes because I believe and I, I know Niantic and WB also believe in the fact that we want to get people outside, we want to get people being social with other individuals, and that is all really important and true. And if they keep the night bus the way it currently is, it's going to definitely incentivize people to not go outside and play with each other or go and explore new environments. And that's not what we want to do. But what I would suggest is maybe limiting or giving no rewards 
for wizarding challenges um, done in the night bus once COVID ends and you can go outside and play. And that's just a way for people who don't get to experience that to actually experience the gameplay with others. And you know, maybe it's it, there's either very little reward or no reward for doing night bus wizarding challenges. Um, but I think it would be a, a great way to not incentivize that, but also allow people who want to have that experience, be able to have that experience um, without the, you know, without the need to, to travel long distances to find a, a group. Like for instance, I, I usually will travel 45 minutes to play with a group of players uh, that normally do wizarding challenges. So um, I would do that because I want the rewards and I like getting outside and I have a group I can play with. But for those who have struggled to find that maybe in more rural areas or just don't have people to um, play with very often, having a night bus with a no reward system or a very low reward system, it could be a way for Niantic to keep the night bus uh, feature without totally um, without totally abandoning the work they put into developing that feature. It's definitely something to think about. I'd be really curious of how you guys think the night bus should be continued after COVID-19, but my vote is to definitely keep the feature with just some modifications that still incentivizes people to go out and be social and to go out and see new environments. So definitely put your thoughts down in the comment area. I'd be really curious to hear more about this. And I'm sure Niantic is really curious about this as well. And so is WB. This is obviously a very big new feature that they've released into the game. And I think they would be very curious to see what the community says about about this new feature and what it could look like after COVID. Uh, and we are able to uh, not be quarantined in our homes anymore and actually get outside and play. Uh, so definitely put those in the comments, um, the comments and definitely smash that like button if you're enjoying the night bus. Uh, and thanks for watching guys. Definitely subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys later. Bye.